Disney World. Yep, the amazing, the mesmerizing, family friendly destination is not all sunshine and rainbows. There is an island where lost souls roam. Right, I'm just going to stop it there because that bit's not true, but the part of Disney having an abandoned island, that's true. This is Discovery Island. It's an 11.5 acre island in Bay Lake, Florida. It is located on the property of Walt Disney World in the city of Bay Lake. Between 1974 and 1999, it was an attraction open to guests who could observe its many species of animals and birds. Disney originally named it Treasure Island and later renamed it to Discovery Island. It currently sits abandoned, but can be seen by any watercraft in Bay Lake. From 1900 to 1937, the island was also known as Raz Island, named after the family that lived there. In the late 1930s, it was purchased for $800, $800, Jesus, by a man named Delmar Radio Nick Nicholson, who renamed it Idle Bay Isle and lived there for 20 years with his wife and pet crane. It was later sold and renamed Riles Island and used as a hunting retreat. Disney bought it in 1965 as part of a, st a strategic property acquisition before building Walt Disney World Resort. Delmar lived on the island and grew exotic plants prior to being acquired by Disney. The island opened as Treasure Island on April 8, 1974 as a place to observe wildlife and was later renamed Discovery Island when it was recognised as a zoological park. The admission cost in 1995 was $10.60 for adults and $5.83 for children. In March 1999, admission was raised to $12.65 and $6.89 for children, including tax. The island's facilities were the home to the last known dusky seaside sparrow before it died in July of 1987. In 1989, Disney was accused by people for ethical treatment of animals of mistreating vultures that landed on Discovery Island. Disney confirmed that some of them died while being captured by the employees. Following this allegation, State and federal officials charged Disney with 16 counts of animal cruelty. These charges were ultimately dropped after Disney made improvements, but did not admit to wrongdoings. Discovery Island closed to the public on the 8th of April 1999, exactly 25 years after its opening, but continued to operate until July the 9th 1999 at which point all of its animals had been relocated to Disney's Animal Kingdom. Although Disney never officially stated its reasons for closing the park, poor attendance and high maintenance costs combined with the newer and bigger Disney's Animal Kingdom being opened a year before are most likely the causes. Since closing, the island has sat largely abandoned with no signs of development and as of this year, 2020, all original buildings and attractions remain on the island, though several have sustained major damage from hurricanes and natural decay. Disney also considered teaming up with video game developers so they could turn the island into a series of puzzles to solve while exploring. Today, the island can be easily seen from Walt Disney Monorail, Disney's Wildlife Lodge, Disney's Contemporary Resort and Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. As well as from the boat trips between them, it is adjacent to Disney's River Country, which closed in November 2001. On April the 30th, 2020, that's this year, a man named Richard McGuire from Mobile, Alabama was arrested for camping on Discovery Island. During the coronavirus pandemic, yet COVID-19 drove a man to the island. He was removed from the island and banned from Walt Disney properties. 
he called the island a tropical paradise and said he did not know the island was off limits to the public. How many of you now want to go and explore the island? I know I do. Thanks for watching, and while you're here, click that subscribe button. Also, you like horror, you like exploring stuff. Well, I have a gaming channel where I'll be doing all of that. Follow this.